the last thing we're doing for Rome. Um, so that, this is our last day of Rome. Next week, we're going to talk about ancient China. Maybe at the end. I don't know why, but this is not working. They posted? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's all of the Roman Empire. All of the Roman Empire. Okay, good. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that you guys can see this. But it is posted. You guys can see it. Good, good. All righty. Let's go ahead and get these slides opened up, please, then. Thank you. All right. So today we have document one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Each one has a question or two that need to be answered based on the information. We're going to do it um, pretty much together. I will read it to you, give you some guidance, but I'm going to have you guys write them in complete sentences on your own. Yes, for a grade. So I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, 100 was too much. 50 is good. So we are going to start on document one. I honestly think that we can get through this today. If not, I'm going to have you guys finish it up on your own. So let's stay focused so we can finish it today. Okay. Document number one says, first of all, there's strong evidence of a steady decline in population across the entire Roman Empire from the second century CE on. For example, peaking at around a million or so in the classical age, the population of the city of Rome gradually dropped over the course of the next few centuries. How long is a century? 100 years. So over a couple of hundred years, the population of Rome started to go down. It reached a, ma a low point of a mere 6,000 people by the 500. So it went from million, like a million people down to 6,000. That's they lost like nine hundred ninety four thousand people. That's a lot. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. By the five hundreds, five hundred BC or A A D after death. If you want to highlight, sure. The reason for this drastic, if incremental, re reduction in human resources is not clear, though many Roman luxury luxurious lifestyles. And Alex, what are you doing? No, go to your desk. There's nothing that makes no sense. Okay? Let's put it over your nose. Uh, many of Roman, Romans' luxurious lifestyles and their um, disinterest in producing and raising children must have played some part. So did plagues, no doubt, as well as constant warfare on the frontiers. So there's disease, people didn't want to have kids, they didn't want to, like, take the responsibility of raising them. There were wars. So our question says, according to the source, what were the basic problems facing the Roman Empire? Honestly, I just listed them. What is one thing that I just said? Oh, they didn't, want kids. didn't want kids. Okay, I'm not going to require complete sentences on this. Let's no. just get these, uh, learn about the fall. Does not need to be complete sentences today. It's okay. It went all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so people in Rome didn't want kids. What else was causing some problems in Rome? Wars. Wars. Good. And one last thing that I mentioned. What else caused problems? Sicknesses, diseases. Good. Plagues. They didn't want kids. Oh, because they didn't want to have the responsibility to raise them. Romans were used to having like really like nice, fancy lives. And if they had kids, they had to kind of give those up to raise the kids. Yeah. Okay, so there's our answers for that one.
Um, some people had kids, but not a lot of them, yes. That's where the population went down? Yeah, that's why their population started to go down, because if you're not making more people, there's no one to just be there. And there's diseases that are killing people, too, so. All right. So disease is just the overarching word for like a sickness, right? A virus is something that like attacks your immune system and stuff. Um, like the flu, like the coronavirus. Um, so yeah, viruses are just a little bit different than like bacteria infections, right? Yeah. Both can kill you. No. Not really. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to slide number two. On this one, we are again looking for some basic problems that Rome was facing. So some basic problems with Rome. Source number two says, Rome's fall, or the reason that Rome didn't last, was inevitable effect of its size. Borders became difficult to secure, and the amount of gold needed to maintain roads and perform routine maintenance was never enough. It had grown so large that it could not take care of or protect itself to the level that was needed. So what was another basic problem facing Rome? Um, yeah, the population was huge. Yeah, huge. population was huge, and they couldn't do what? They couldn't do. They couldn't build roads. They couldn't take care of their people. Yeah. There just wasn't enough money in Rome to take care of people. Yeah. So people had to leave to get a better life at that point. Oh, um, no. The Americas happened a lot later. Yeah. Technically, Christopher Columbus sailed across the ocean from Italy? Was it Italy? I don't know. Was it Spain? He did that in he did that in 1492. Yeah, yeah. So he sailed that in 1492, which is about a hundred years after the fall of the Roman Empire. Not a hundred, a thousand. Sorry, a thousand years. So these people that were leaving Rome weren't going towards the Americas just yet because they didn't even know that America, North America or South America, even existed yet. Wait, the next one is about like murder and stuff. Yep, we'll look at it. I wonder what little Caesar's population would have been. Okay, about 30 more seconds on this one. Are you done? Like the person I'm from doesn't like Columbus at all. Yes, I'm yeah, I know. I don't like Christopher Columbus either. Yeah. He was a big jerk. He basically came over and took over all the land from the Native Americans that lived here. Huh? Uh, someone would have found it eventually. Yeah. True, but the United States has an awful history of how we treat Native American people. Awful history. We were horrible. Okay, I'm going to go on to our third slide. Hello, we're doing our Fall of Rome assignment. We're on slide number three now. Slide number three. So there is this chart here about the emperor. What is an emperor? No, an emperor. Okay. 
So, an emperor is the person who runs the empire. So, someone who is like in charge of the city. The, the city. So, um, it's probably supposed to say soldiers. That's fine. So, an emperor on the left over here is someone who is in charge of the empire. So Roman emperors are the people that were in charge of Rome. The dates in power are when they were in power, when they had control of Rome. And then they have the cause of death. So what happened to these emperors? So some of them were executed. What does it mean to be executed? No. You're killed by who? Uh, Basically, like like the government, like you did something bad, so they kill you because, like, it was like treason. Yeah. No, there is no China one. This is the. Are we on the China Roman one? Yep. Oh, okay. Good. Yep. So, um, execution, okay, too much talking. We got to get through this. Execution is when the government kills you. Lynched by soldiers means that a group of soldiers attacked you and you died. Suicide, we know what that means. You killed yourself. Killed in action means that you were in a war and you were killed while you were fighting for the war. Um, plague means that you killed, were killed by a disease. If you died in captivity, that means that you were being held hostage and you died during that. Murdered by soldiers, again, you're murdered by soldiers. Natural causes means that you died of like old age. Uh, and then this last one, this dude was murdered by his secretary. So that's a good one. So essentially all of these emperors, what happened to them? How did they all die? They were either murdered, back in the disease, action, and yeah essentially they were all yeah a secretary is the person that makes your appointments and stuff so that person didn't like him very much essentially all of these emperors were murdered and killed yeah so thinking about that what is happening among the roman empire uh, emperors that might have caused rome to go away they were not liked. I don't know. Some of them do that. They weren't liked. If people if people don't like them, are they going to stay? Well, if people don't like you, they're gonna not stay at in your country, right? So I'm gonna give you about two minutes to get this typed out. Okay. Sorry. Okay, one more minute to get this typed out. Like I said, we're going to finish this before we leave today. We have the time. I know we have the time. We're going to finish it, even if it goes a little after 1230. Or sorry. 12. 12.30, you'll be home probably. Alrighty. Let's go look at slide number four. So this is document number four. In this one, we're looking for what economic issues are identified for the cause of decline. What does the word economic mean? Mine's pink too. Okay, that's not what I asked though. What does economic mean? We've kind of talked about it a little bit. Uh, 
Um, are you testing? Um, they were reading something. No, that's fine. Yeah. I'll come back in a little bit. Okay. Between, uh, we're done at about noon. On Sabbath. Okay. Okay, again, economic. What does it mean? We've kind of talked about it, but not really. What does it mean if the economy is collapsing? It, what's falling apart, though? Is it the military? Is it money? Is it environment? It is the economy, but it, is it, what, what constitutes the economy? Nope. Nope. Oh, my goodness, it's the money. It's your money. What are the... Okay, economic means money. So what are the money issues that cause the decline of the empire? So we're going to read through this. It says, in 193, Septimus, Septimus Severus defeated his rivals in a civil war to claim the imperial throne and found a dynasty. His line devalued the currency in order to enlarge the army and double the legionnaires' pay. When, uh, with, huh? I heard that, that this and that's, I think the name, and I just gotta figure out what it means. Yeah, it just means our money. So within a century, the Roman coin, the Roman money, was completely worthless. By the late third century, the Roman economy was on a barter system. The uh, Severan dynasty ruled until 235. Alexander Severus's death triggered a succession struggle which lasted 50 years, completing uh, general competing generals, politicians, and barbarian kings all vied to rule the empire. As the power struggle continued, the border collapsed, allowing barbarians into Roman territory without governmental approval. The civil wars, raids, and accompanying social unrest destroyed the trade market. Merchants lost safe routes to the east, transporting goods and mar uh, to the market became hazardous rather than risk traveling anywhere. Large landowners grew self-sufficient. They produced their own food rather than trade or purchase anything. As the trade collapsed, the various governments that attempted to rule after the crisis created more taxes, more funds for the military. However, people could not afford to pay them. As a result, the government eventually confiscated crops from the people and eventually the poor paid taxes for the rich. Hey, that's kind of it is kind of sad. So one emperor came in and was like, we're going to like make money kind of worthless. That's one of the major things. Rome's money became worthless. Because it's kind of hard to describe, but when money becomes worthless, it means that like the if I give you a dollar, it's not really going to buy you anything like things cost so much money. That giving you anything isn't going to help. Yeah. Okay. So money became worthless. And because money was worthless, what else could they not do anymore? They said the word like 10 times in here. Well, they, couldn't, they couldn't purchase or sell. What's one word that talks about buying and selling things? Well, Starts with a T. I don't, I don't have no. Some, like, they have to the trade. trade. So trade uh, got really hard and dangerous. They couldn't trade anything anymore because there were raids and everything like that. Okay. And then poor people had to pay everyone's taxes, apparently. Yeah, um, yeah, it is messed up. Yeah, it's like the plebeians paying for a lot of things. That is true. Okay. Okay, about one more minute on this. We're going to keep moving quickly. Quickly. Well, I guess, you know, keep that camera out of it. Oh, 
I'll be right back. All righty. We're going to go ahead and look at document number five. Like I said, we're going to kind of keep going through it pretty quick. This one asks us, what does this selection tell us about how the military contribu contributed to the fall of Rome? So how did the military help, or sorry, not help Rome succeed? So the military does something and Rome doesn't last any longer. So what does Rome or the military do basically? It says, Rome became reliant, so they relied and they needed uh, hired foreign soldiers to bolster their military, especially Germanics. So basically that sentence says they needed to hire people for their military. They couldn't get people to fight for them anymore. Therefore, much of the military was not loyal to Rome, often switching sides in the battle. Mercenaries were more loyal to their commander than the government, leading to civil wars and military coups that ripened Rome for collapse. At the same time, Rome's eastern and northern borders grow, grew so large that they became unable to maintain. As their Germanic soldiers became more numerous, it was not feasible to maintain large enough legions to prevent infiltration. Yes. Come back. Good. So, what is like the main thing that happened to Rome's military that they couldn't control them anymore? Uh, they, they were not loyal. Good. Rome had to hire. People not higher non Romans, right? To fight in their military. It means that they hired people that weren't Roman citizens. So, like, they hired people that were German to be in their military, and then those German people were not loyal to, the, to Rome, so they would just turn sides and fight from the inside. So, okay, well, you have the ability to stand up and walk towards the screen. So, this is as big as it gets. I'm sorry. Okay, if you're going to argue with me, I'm not, I'm, I don't want to hear it today. So, Rome. Yeah, Rome had to hire non-Romans, so people that did not have Roman citizen citizenship, to fight their for their military, and those soldiers were not loyal, so they would just switch sides and then start killing Romans in the middle of battles. Okay, got about one minute for this one. Why? Yep. Yep. About thirty more seconds. Um, that was like 10 seconds because you counted super fast. So nice try. You counted one, two, three, four. That is not a second. That, yeah, that's more of a second. There you go. All right, let's do document number six. This one has two questions. We're basing it off of the map. According to the map above, what caused the Roman Empire to fall? So if we're looking at this map, what is the title of it? No, what is the invasions of the Roman Empire? What does it mean to invade an empire? Yeah, you are bringing your armies into that country to take it over, right? So if you look at the colors, let's see if we can make this like somewhat bigger. It's not, it's really zoomed in. But if you look at the colors, yellow 
is a group of people coming in from the top over here. Uh, orange is a group of people coming in kind of from the top too. Uh, this pink is another people. Purple. Yeah, purple comes around this way. This one comes this way. The Huns come from down. And then the Vandals come from the water. And all of them go towards Rome. Right? They're all trying to take over Rome. Huh? So they just wanted to take Rome? They wanted to take over Rome because it was a big empire. So according to the map, what do you think might have caused the fall of Rome? Everyone was invading them, right? Everyone was trying to take over. Yeah, everyone was invading them and trying to take over. Seven, seven, uh, right, everybody is invading. Good. And there was a lot of people trying to take over Rome. There was a lot of people trying to take over Rome. And now. I don't know. Sorry. Wow. But Yoshi, you bring up a good point because the next question asks, why would an attack from more than one country be bad? Because you only have this one. You only have so many people. Okay. You only have so many people that you can imagine. They only have too many people to fight in the army. Good. So you guys are all correct. You only have one little army compared to all of the other ones that are trying to take you over. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's a good thing that the Nazis lost too. Yeah. So the answer to number one, what kind of caused Rome to fall? Everybody is trying to take them over. The answer to number two there is why is this bad for them? And we said because they don't got, oh, that's not a good color. Um, don't me, there's that. Let's see, red? Red looks good. Yeah. So if everybody is attacking you and you only have one army, you're not going to be able to do very much to stop them. Um, it, it kind of we have to go a little bit more in depth on that question, just because essentially, if you have someone that rises to power and a lot of people like them. Juliana Vasquez, please come to the office with your cane. Juliana Vasquez, to the office with your cane. Yeah. We can talk about that at a different time. Let's finish this up. Let's go look at document number seven. You guys actually learn about World War II and the Nazis in seventh and eighth grade. So you will do like whole month units on that stuff. I don't know how long, but you'll do a lot of in-depth stuff on that. All right. We have one last one to read. We have two questions. In what way did Christianity, so the, the religion, how did Christianity lead to the downfall of Rome? And some dispute that Christianity complete competed to the fall of contributed to the fall of Rome. Why might they say this? Yeah, Christianity means that you are Christian. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of people um, were Christian in Rome. No, Catholic. My bad. Sorry. Right. Uh, Roman? Roman is Catholic, right? Yeah, there's a Roman Catholic church. Okay. But the Roman took it over and destroyed it. Right, because this is the downfall of Rome. And yeah. if Roman people were mainly Catholic and Christianity started coming through, not too great. So I want you guys to try this last one on your own. Read through it, do questions one and two, and you can turn it in when you are done. Okay? I'm going to go talk to Ms. Leonard for a second. Well, I want to touch something on your or you oh. tell me. I sent you an email. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the recording. Okay.